everyone. Welcome to Charts and Perspective, where we use charts to dive into the world of economics and financial markets. I'm Jennifer Nash, an economic and market research analyst for Vetify. Today we're updating the Buffett Valuation Indicator, made popular by Warren Buffett, who called it probably the best single measure of market valuation. It evaluates stock market valuation relative to the economy by dividing the total value of all publicly traded stocks by GDP. A high ratio suggests the stock market is growing much faster than the economy, potentially signaling a bubble. Since quarterly GDP data dates back to 1947 and the Fed's balance sheet updates only back to 1951, our analysis does have a limited time frame. So let's start with the basic quarterly ratio. Based on Q4 GDP estimates in January's closing data, the Buffett indicator is at 205.1%, slightly down from December, but still the sixth highest in history. This chart also includes key highs and lows, such as the dot-com peak in 2000, where it was at 163.2%, the Great Recession trough in 2009, where it fell to 68.9%, the all-time low from the early 1980s of 32.2%, and the all-time high just a few years ago in October 21, of 216.2%. To get a clear evaluation picture over time, let's remove the long-term upward trend by plotting our regression line. Now we can see how far above or below the trend we are. Adding standard deviations allows us to see the exact percentage above or below the regression trend line we are, which then helps us tell if the stock market is undervalued, fairly valued, or overvalued. Currently at 205.1%, the Buffett indicator is 50% above the detrended regression, or 1.6 standard deviations above his, its historic trend line, placing it in overvalued territory. This next chart offers a different take, using the FT Wilshire 5000 price index as the numerator instead of the Fed's corporate equities data. With this variant, the Buffett indicator reads 199.7%, up from the previous quarter and the highest in series history. So how do these two co versions compare? The Wilshire is a broader market measure while the Fed's data provides a longer historical view. The early decades when the ratio was much lower have definitely influenced the long-term trend. Overlaying both versions here shows they track very closely with the Fed's version, the red line, displaying slightly more volatility but following the same upward trajectory. One final comment to close out while the Buffett indicator is a useful gauge of market valuation, it's not a short-term marketing tool, as this overlay with the S&P 500 illustrates. And that's all for our January update on the Buffett valuation indicator. Thank you for tuning in. For more economic and market insights, check out my work on advisor perspectives under the AP chart section.